The only substitute for good manners are fast reflexes. Hey everybody, how's it going? Long time no see. Chris D'Amico, Band of Bama. Did a bit of a road trip, had some fun, went to Virginia and Jamaica, had a blast. Fortunately, unfortunately, this is a very somber show. Um, I regret to inform you of the passing of the SB-153, the Homebrewers Bill. It is dead. Sad. And the Brewery Modernization Act is probably not far behind. I'll not go into the details. I'll link to something I can find, maybe, about it. But, once again, the Alabama legislature has chosen to fight and piddle and not pass things. Unfortunate. Very unfortunate. So, guys, what are you going to do? Um, I guess that we'll get into the beer. Shows will get shorter, days will get longer, and life will go on. Kind of to honor this, uh, we're going to drink Rebel today because we're going to continue to do what we do and rebel against the silly, silly laws that are on the books about homebrewing. This is from Chicken Creek Farm, they're out of Virginia. Apparently a very backwoods, like really a farmhouse at the end of a gravel road that brews beer. Massive bottle, uh, it's a pint, nope, sorry, quart. I don't know the metric system or the um, English system. They actually give you $2 back if you bring this bottle back. I don't think I will, I like it, I'm gonna keep it. Um, so let's get stuck into this. Uh, no ABV or anything else. I have no idea what this is. Oh, that sounded good. Got a little beer on my face. Interesting. Those of you who don't have super telescopic eyes, check that out. Um, it's like gold, a little bit hazy, um, but not like hazy like a wheat beer, just a little bit haze, probably chill haze. Um, low head, I get a, a lot of citrus on that, and you'll have to excuse me, it's been a while since I've done this. Um, like sour orange, some grain in the back end. Um, it's a very pleasant grain, but the, the sourness really comes through. This is this kind of smelling like heavy with a lemon in it. Okay, let's give it a taste. So, really acidic up front, um, fades to like that sour orange that we were talking about, but really kind of lighter than the nose. And then at the end, you get two room all. Um, really seems like a very refreshing beer. Mm -hmm. Give this another try. I like to change my vote from acidic to PVC almost throughout. It's like when you drink hose, uh, hose water, kind of. Um, I don't know what's up with that. It might have been, no, who knows. Um, oh, I haven't done this in a while. A 
Okay, so how do you get this taste? How do you get this since you're definitely not going to get 32 ounces here in Alabama? I would say that you would go with a Shiner Hefe with a lemon in it, pretty much. That's what I got on the nose, and that's really what comes to mind. Um, I have been drinking Red Stripe for a whole week, so that could have really um, killed my palate. So I'll promise I'll get into some craft beer and change change it up a little bit. Um, that's it for me. Really, really sad about all this, and um, I hope you are too. Um, but we'll, we'll, we'll have some fun in the next show. We'll do something different and try to get over it, you know. Anyway, signing off from an undisclosed location, somewhere in the Chattahoochee River Basin, Basin, uh, Basin. I'm Chris D'Amico, and uh, this is Ben Bell. Cheers.